Hey guys, my name is Dustin. I'm one of the owners here at Drinking Fabrication. We have Greg. He's our shop manager in charge of the builds that come through the door. We're going to show you some of our production parts and the installation process that goes along with it. In this video, we'll be taking a well-known name in the industry's truck and doing a full front to rear build with it. Hopefully for any of you guys looking to do a build on your truck at home, this will give you some good insight on what all goes into it. Sierra Denali. Greg's going to start by showing you some of the details on our long travel kit. On this Denali, we're going to be running our bolt-on four-wheel drive kit. This particular kit is three and a half inches wider per side and it can be ran a handful of different ways. You can run a single coilover, coilover and bump stop, coilover and factory sway bar, or a coilover and bypass. Also included in this kit is everything needed to install it. Uh, you have your extended brake lines, limit straps, steering stops, uh, our custom Dirt King alignment cams, which allow you to correct your factory flaw and fully locks in the alignment on these GM trucks. Uh, lower arm weld washers, your upper lower misalignment spacers, and all hardware needed to mount the limit straps. So a big problem that we have with the GM and the Chevy trucks is that inner core support and the fenders are spot welded together. So what we did to solve that is we made a complete bolt-on inner wheel well structure. So not only did we make a complete bolt-on structure, we also made additional clearance so that you can fit a 37 inch tire and clear at full bump with our long trail kit. So right here you have two inches of clearance all the way through the wheel well to be able to fit the tires at full bump and everything's included to be able to install it. We also offer this additional add-on that allows you to keep the factory windshield wiper fluid. Out back, we're gonna be running a Fox 30x16 triple bypass, a Deaver U182 spring overpack, as well as our U-bolt and bushing kit. You'll also see that we have our Dirt King fabricated shackle and hanger kit. Our hanger does relocate backwards enough to compensate for the added length of the Deaver pack, as well as our shackles that add for more droop. This is our prefab bed cage. It's awesome because the installation process is very simple. All you have to do is weld these four tabs on. Everything else is all bolted together. You can order it, whether it be uh, raw metal or powder coated. It allows for a 16 inch bypass and it works with leaf over or leaf under spring. Right here we have our rear wheel wells. These are CAD designed and all blended and ready to go, just like you see here. These go into the bed and what they do is they allow for a larger opening so that you can fit the larger tire size and more up travel. Here you'll see our new low profile hitch that goes with our pre-runner bumper. Uh, it does mount in the factory mounting position. You'll see it does accept all your standard safety chains, a standard receiver. And over here you'll see it's already tabbed to cover any trailer adapters from 99 to 18. We're gonna go over our production Silverado rear bumpers. See here that these uh, do have a press broke edge. This allows you to eliminate the ugly bumper indention that comes in the fiberglass, or you can even cut it out on a factory truck to run a low profile bumper. We do make this without the sensors or with the backup sensors. You'll see on this one, we're running it because it is a Denali and it does have them. And it also comes with integrated flush mounted LED lights and it bolts right to the factory mounting position. All right, for shocks, we went with Fox. We do an inverted lower pocket on our lower arm, so uh, that allows us to run a full eight inch stroke shock versus an OE replacement shock, which limits travel. We went with the two five by eight custom spec uh, coilover with, as well as a custom spec three oh by eight bypass. Whenever you buy our spec shocks, you also receive the coil bucket adapter plates as, as well as our resi mounts. The other thing you'll need whenever running a dual shock setup on this truck you'll need our fabricated bypass shock hoops as well. For tires and wheels, we're gonna go with the 37 125017 Toyo MT. Uh, we're gonna do a 17 inch bronze KMC XD series wheel. It's a 17 by nine with a four and a half inch backspace. For 
for fiberglass. We went with Fiberworks' six inch front fenders and six inch bedsides, as well as their Valance. On the Valance, we wanted to keep the Denali touch, so we actually worked hand in hand with them to incorporate the factory Denali fog lights. There's enough surface area for us to still put the front parking sensors on it, and it makes a flat line for us to make our custom free runner front. All right, now we just finished up the installation on the uh, front end. We have the Fiberworks fiberglass, the front fenders, the valance, and our radius front bumper. We did the parking sensors and the OEM fog lights on this one. And then over here, we have our uh, long travel kit. It has the coilovers, bypasses, our bypass shock hoop kit. And then we have our upper arm alignment cams and lower arm weld washers. Both of those are included with the kit. To pair with that, we have our oversized inner fender wheels to allow for the up travel. Now that this is all done, we're gonna move to the rear. up the back of the truck. Let's give you a little rundown on what all we did. Uh, we installed Fiberworks to six inch rear bedsides. We removed the factory leaf pack and installed the Deaver U182 pack. Uh, we went ahead and went with a 37 inch Toyo RT mounted up on a KMC wheel. Come around the back side of the truck here, you'll see our Dirt King rear bumper. This bumper does eliminate the factory bumper indention that's in these bedsides. Allows you to dovetail it up at an angle and keep a nice clean line. Uh, we did put the factory rear bumper sensors back in the bumper, flush mounted LED lights for the license plate, and then you'll see our new low profile hitch that goes hand in hand with our bumper. Uh, hanging right below the bumper, you'll see our shackle and hanger kit. This does allow for full droop out of the Deaver pack. That's pretty much a wrap on the outside of the truck. Let's go ahead and see what's on the inside of the bed. All right, so in the bed here, we went ahead and torched out the factory bed liner. We installed our oversized rear wheel wells. We welded up our four locating tabs for the bed cage to the frame. Uh, we did a Fox 3.0 by 16 triple bypass, and then we finished it off by doing a full size 37 flat in the bed, strapped in with our Dirt King three-way strap. Uh, that pretty much sums up the back of the truck, and that's a complete build.